just wanna run to you and break off the chains and throw them away. One of the things that is beneficial to me as an artist is the fact that I can spew what I need to spew and get it out. And a lot of the times when I'm going through a hard time, I'll write about it and analyze the situation and sort of resolve it. And that's what the chorus is. You know, the chorus is your, your issue and then the end of the chorus is always kind of my resolve. And it, I come out of it feeling a little better and feeling like I conquered that one thing, you know, that, that was getting you down. It won't ever change if you want For every four songs I write, one of them is one I'm really proud of. And the ratio was a lot worse before. <laughs> I wrote hundreds and hundreds of songs that were just awful, but it's a muscle. It's a, you work your muscle and you get better at what you do and you have to learn to let go of the stuff that's not good and move on to the next thing. Lights Acoustic, my acoustic EP. It's one of those things that I didn't know what to expect because it's so different from my normal music, which is synth pop. So I decided to make an acoustic EP, and um, it was just something I made a week down. I, had, I was on tour for so long, I had a week off, and just made it at home in my home studio under my loft bed. I have a little, a pretty minimal studio setup. It's not too bad. I, I run Logic, and I have uh, an Apache Duet and like a Rhodes NT2A. It's not the best gear, but it's decent. It started with the guitar, miking my vocals. I didn't plug anything in. It's all very organic. The only unorganic thing about it is that I play to a click, which you can hear sometimes in the recording. <laughs> When I was 13, I had an 8-track, and I would produce up all these tracks. I would just do like 13, 15 a month. I had 8-tracks to work with. It was like a blank canvas. As a result, you get all kinds of ideas. It's not just guitar and vocals. You can add on a glockenspiel, or you can add on a crazy synth line, or you can add on background vocals, or throw a bunch of regrub on. And I had a lot of fun making production when I was in my teens. In order to create, to invent sounds and find sounds, I kind of had to make them. I remember one of the first times I really found this sort of raunchy synth was when I ran my piano through a distortion and it kind of came out heavy like what you might get from a Moog now or a Moog soft synth where it's all done for you. But it was really exciting and new and I got to be so much more out of the box because it wasn't actually a preset or anything like that. I love soft synths, I use them all the time, but you have to change them a little bit. You have to hunt a little bit because it's so easy to have everything done for you now. You can hit a quantize button and make everything perfectly timed. And I, I have to say, I've, I've done that before. I've quantized all my stuff because I love the clean sound, but there is something missing. Going live in, recording in with the mic, it sounds cool and it's a way to get cool demos down. One of the things I realize is when I have an idea for a song and lay it into GarageBand, it sounds the best when it's rough. It sounds, the song is the same as when you first thought of it, the idea, before you do anything to it. And if, if you're not gonna finish your idea, don't touch it until you do. I'm honestly thankful that I didn't have the access to internet platforms like MySpace and YouTube and Pure Volume where you can put your music out there for the world. I didn't have those things when I was young, so I put all my focus on the songs, making sure the song was done before I brought it into the, to the production phase, um, making sure I loved what I did before I put it out for the world to hear. I don't know if, if I had access to what I have now, if that would have held me back, if I would have gone and put it out there and then all of a sudden, the world knows what you're doing, and it's not ready. If you don't have a good song that can be stripped down and played with nothing, that's what a music career is all about. That's what music is all about. A good song and something that can move people. It doesn't matter what you put on it. It's better if you don't make everything sound perfect, you know. You saw me at the worst, you caught me for